Hello everyone, I hope you are all good. I'm Photo Rabs, a portrait photographer based in France, and welcome to this eighth episode of this Black Friday 2024 series. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about a software that I use a lot, which is Luminar Neo from Skylum. Luminar Neo is an editing software. It was, I think, the first editing software that has the AI features and the AI editing tools built in. In my case, this Luminar Neo cannot replace Adobe Series, whether Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Lightroom. In my situation, I use this Luminar Neo as a plugin in Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Lightroom to help me achieve the look that I want for my photos. You can also use the standalone version of this software so you can organize your photos, your catalogs, your albums in it just like Lightroom and then you can go edit them one by one if you would like to. During this Black Friday event you can get up to 80% discount on Luminar Neo subscription, I think a little bit more than 80% actually. You can get one year subscription for about 50 US dollars and lifetime subscription for around 80 or 85 US dollars. That's a great deal during this period of the year. But why you would like to install a new software that you haven't used before? That's why I highly recommend you to use my link down below to download the trial version to use it for 30 days to discover it yourself to see whether it can be suitable for your workflow or not. Because imagine for a lifetime you have to pay 85 US dollars, I think, something around that. And yeah, you have the software for life. It's not like the subscription, the monthly subscription of Adobe series. This one is completely different. You can pay once and you have it for a lifetime. Or you can choose maybe the one year subscription for about 50 US dollars. But once again, use the trial version down below and enjoy the software for around 30 days and then if you decide to get it, you can buy it. If no, then no question asked, you can get back your money. So let us not talk a lot about the software and jump into my computer to show you some photos that I took, how I can edit them on this Luminar Neo so you can see yourself what this program is capable of. This is not a full review for Luminar Neo. I'm preparing a full review about it later on on my channel, but this is just a preview of what this software is capable of. So now we are inside of Luminar Neo. I will add some photos that I prepared for this uh, test here. So we can see on the right side all the EXIF data. This one was taken on September 29th. This one on October 23rd. And we have everything that we need here on this side. Let us try for example the gen erase on this one because there are some dis some disturbing elements in the background that I would like to take out. Perfect. So we have to select to mask this area and then click on erase. That will take the image to the cloud. It will process it with the AI tools and then you can get the result. And voila, this is not bad at all. We can maybe tweak it a little bit here and there to have something better and voila I have something that is not bad at all I can save it it took a few seconds and voila everything is good on this one let's go back to the photos here let's take for example this one this is another portrait shot that I took I'll go to the edit page I would like first to crop this one in 4x5 for Instagram perfect I'll go to develop in just to make the same development that I can do also on Lightroom but now we have everything in one single application so I can take down a little bit the highlights the shadows and voila this one looks not bad I can yeah, I love that I will take the saturation down a little bit and take this one yeah this one looks so nice to me we can decrease a little bit the exposure and voila this is the photo almost done we can go maybe here to the portrait section to the face and I can adjust the light on the face as you can see it's good it's not bad let me take 
to the skin to see if we have some yeah this is not bad at all voila so the photo is done i can export it and or i can keep it in my catalog as you can see here this is the photo that i worked on let me try for example which one let let's try this one so this one i took it on october 23rd with the macro lens from nikon so i can go here on the develop page I can change a little bit the white balance exactly how I want it to be perfect I can go a little bit down here I can where is it I can go choose vignette I will choose my subject And voila, this is the image. I'll go to crop it 4 by 5 for Instagram once again. And that's my photo here. I will go now to choose something different. Let us take this one. We took this one, we wanted to have some like sunset behind. It was the perfect time, but the weather was not good. The, the meteorological conditions were not good. So I don't recommend you to change the skies in your images, but if you have to, if you are forced to make it, then with this software, it's very easy. Let's go to edit. First, I'll try to just crop it in four by five and adjust the levels a little bit here. Okay this one is very good like this and now i'll go to sky i will choose a sunset from here let's take this one yeah this one okay so now we have the sky we see that the sun is from this side here so i can change that of course I will flip it I would like the Sun to be from this area here and now I will change the position in order to make it fit this one is not bad I like it yeah that's nice and I can refine the mask because you see here we have some very sharp edge well some bad masking if we can say that so I can adjust it a little bit with this I can close the gaps and I can fix the details, I can relight the scene and that's amazing. Check this. Voila, everything is good. I can now defocus the sky because everything in the background is blurry. So I have to make the sky in the same way. Perfect, so now I can go again to adjust the, the mask here. So yeah, that's it. What do you think about it? It took maybe a few seconds and we changed the sky. I will put, I will add a little bit of warmth here and maybe a little bit of brightness just to perfect. I like it. Now I can go again. I can pick that vignette. And voila, this image is done i like it what else can we do let's try this one here this one was taken with a makey 50 millimeters 1.8 for my nikon z mount okay so what can we do let's go here first of all i'll take the highlights down and the shadows a little bit a little bit of contrast yeah that's it a little bit cooler with a green tint that will be good I'll take the saturation down a little bit and the vibrance a little bit up 
So yeah, I put the auto difference to remove all the chromatic aberrations here. We can add sharpness if we want, we can reduce the noise if we want, we can do everything that we used to do before. Now I'll go to the crop, 4x5, perfect. This is to add some clarity in some region, it looks nice. Let's take it down this way. What else can we do here? Okay, I will go to the portrait section. Face light. This one is not bad. Skin. Check this. It removed almost all the small blemishes and the image is very nice like this and we can go to relight and the last thing here so i can play a little bit with it this is the brightness near it means that the subject because it's the subject who is in focus here brightness far for the background and depth ah oh, this one is nice perfect so yeah that's it that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it helpful don't forget you can get the link down below you can use this software for around 30 days and then you can discover it yourself whether it's a good fit for you or not thank you for watching and don't forget to hit like to subscribe and to ring the bell because every day at the same exact time during this black friday event i'll be posting a video about a brand or a product that i like that i use on a daily basis so you can use also the discount codes and you can benefit from all the deals they have on their website thank you for watching once again and see you in another video ciao for now